What's up YouTube, it's your boy Muhammad back with another video with the channel Mr. Top 10 Cents. And boy, do I got a special top 10 list for you guys today. Most of you guys are aware of the tag video that's been going around, which is the top 10 fragrances for life, toss out the rest of your collection. Well, I've been tagged. But today we're focused on the top 10 niche fragrances for life, all right? So before we get started, let me share my scent of the day as usual. And my scent of the day today is Creed's Aventus. You guys know about this fragrance. I don't need to talk about it. Black Currant, Apple, Pineapple, Birch, Ambergris, Rose, Vanilla. We all know this. Smells good. Not one of my favorites, but it does smell good. It is not on the list. So scent of the day is Creed's Aventus. Before we kick off the top 10, I have three honorable mentions because this list was so hard, had so many fragrances that I could put on this list. It took me days to get it just right. And really, I wanted to put like seven or eight honorable mentions, but I just said, you know what? I don't want to make this video so long, so I just did three, all right? The first honorable mention is Parfums de Marley Carlisle. I wasn't too crazy about this fragrance in the beginning. Came around to it. To me, it seems like when you test something from a carded sample, it's totally different from the bottle. Weird, but I absolutely love this. I feel like they took their most popular fragrances and mixed them all together. You got late in hair ridden Ojan in here. It smells really good. This is Parfums de Marley Carlisle. Second honorable mention is from the same house. Parfums de Marley, Leighton Exclusive. This is the only oud based fragrance that I have or heavy oud based fragrance because I really do not like oud. But with the Leighton DNA, it just smells really good. But unfortunately, it did not make the list. This is Leighton Exclusive. Third and final honorable mention is Roger Dove's Lysium Parfum Extra. This is such a great fragrance. It makes it a lot denser and more complex than the original Parfum Cologne. Has some ambergris and the dry down is just to die for. Doesn't project excellent like the Parfum Cologne, but longevity, amazing. 10 hours, easy, every time I wear it. Roja Parfum Extra. Now let's start with the list. Coming in at number 10 is the reason that Creed Aventus did not make the list. And this is none other than Mancera's Cidra Boise. It's a fresher take on Creed Aventus. Doesn't have pineapple to my nose. I'm not sure if the notes actually has pineapple, but to me it's more of a lemon and woody based fragrance. But I love it, I actually like it better than Aventus, hence that's why this is on the list and Aventus is not. Mancera Cidra Boise. Number nine is a newcomer to my list, but man, have I been loving it. And I could thank one of my good friends, David Reynolds from Facebook. He actually got me on to this fragrance. He told me to check it out. It was one of his favorite niche fragrances of all time. And guys, I was not disappointed. This is MFK's Amorous Own. Wow, such a complex, unique, but mass appealing summer fragrance this has a lot of citrus and sweetness to it and it has some oud and some coffee and some gourmand notes in the base but i don't get any gourmand there is some sweetness and freshness in here people compare it to paco Rabanne one million they consider this as a designer fragrance because it's so mass appealing the blend of this is just amazing the the quality of it is just amazing this is niche all the way, MFK's Emerus Ohm. Number eight is probably one of my favorite date fragrances from the niche world, guys. This is not, it doesn't project like a monster, but it the longevity is amazing. Me, when I think of a nice date fragrance, is sophisticated, sweet, gourmand, low projection, but great longevity, just to make you smell delicious. And this is by Killian's Black Phantom. Chocolate, rum, heliotrope, smells really good. Like I said, it's a soft gourmand. The women love this fragrance. At least my wife does. So number eight is Black Phantom by Killing It. And number seven is the reason that Roja Dove's Elysium Parfum Extra is not on this list. And this fragrance is Roja Dove Elysium Parfum Cologne. I prefer this over the Parfum Extra for two reasons. The two reasons is the bright, uplifting, 
opening and the projection of this is just amazing. It's to die for. Although the X-Straight has nice backbone to it, it dries down beautifully, and the longevity is gorgeous on it. But I'd rather carry a decant and keep respraying just for that opening. And this is Rosia Dove's Elysium Cologne at number seven. Number six is a fragrance that I don't talk too much about, but honestly, it is one of my favorite fragrances. That's why it's on this list. Just a great spring and summer sophisticated scent. And this is from the House of Suspiro, Accento. I've seen it on the sites compared to Aventus as an Aventus clone. This is nowhere near Aventus. It has some pineapple in the opening mixed with some other citruses, but that's the only thing that it has in common with Creed Aventus. This is more of a citrus oriental floral fragrance. This could be pulled off by men or women, but I love it. Great fragrance, Suspiro's Achenta. Now to my top five. Number five is Amouage Reflection Man. Great floral fragrance. This is masculine, sexy, sophisticated, classy, everything in a bottle. This just works all year round to me. This is the non-magnetic cap. I actually have a backup bottle of it, so I think this will be perfect. It smells really good. Longevity, 12 hours. Projection, four or five hours. Smell it from two feet away. Just can't get better. I'm wide reflection man at number five. Number four is my favorite tobacco-based fragrance. And it's also from my favorite niche brand. And this is from the House of Parfums de Marley, Herod. This is why Carlisle did not make the list. Because every situation that I could see myself wearing Carlisle, I would prefer this over it. Just an amazing amber, vanilla, tobacco, sweet. It's just so high class. Quality is amazing, blend is amazing, Parfums de Marley, all their fragrances are just a hit in my opinion. I own most of the line. You guys know that I can make any top 10 list with just their fragrances because I love it so much. And this is Parfums de Marley Herod at number four. Number three is the second Suspiro fragrance on this list. And the reason that Mason Francis Kurt John Baccarat Rouge 540 did not make the list. You guys know I love Baccarat Rouge 540, but this one edged it out just a little bit. And this fragrance is Herba Pura by Suspiro. This was an instant love when I smelled this fragrance. I had a small sample from Beverly Hills Perfumery. I sprayed it once on my hand and I fell in love with it. I ordered it right away. It just smells really good. Super fruity. This is a gourmand fragrance, but not a gourmand like by Killian, where it's real dark chocolate, coffee, rum. This is a fruity gourmand. It's like mango, peach, pineapple, apple. Just smells really good. This is beast mode. This is the only fragrance that I could spray twice and choke out the whole room. That's how strong it is. I actually spray this twice in the air and just walk through it because it's so strong. You spray this one time directly onto your skin, you'll be projecting for like six hours and it lasts for 20 hours easily. This would not go away. You spray it on your clothes, leave your clothes in the closet for days, it'll smell like this. I will wear this the same occasions that I would wear Baccarat Rouge 540 because it's so sweet. Upscale events, one or two sprays in the dead of winter when it's super cold, that's when this shines smelling like a boss. This is Suspiro's Herba Pura at number three. Number two is from Parfums de Marley yet again. They just killed it on this list. And you guys know what it is, Parfums de Marley Late. I prefer this over the Late and Exclusive. I know all the niche heads or niche snobs, whatever, it's gonna say, man, how you like that? That designer-esque mask appealing stuff. Oh, Late and Exclusive is better. It just has coffee and cat's asshole gland and oud and it just smells so good and dank no guys this smells better to me by far it's mass appealing easy to wear but it smells great projection amazing longevity great can't complain about it this is parfums de marley Layton at number two <sighs> number one this is not only my favorite niche fragrance of all time but it's my favorite fragrance in general of all time. And this fragrance is from the house of YSL Tuxedo. Gourmand, fresh, sweet, spicy, all in a bottle. Everything about it is just excellent. 
the price $250 for 125 mil not all that bad for a niche fragrance the bottle looks classy magnetic cap the sprayer is the best sprayer I have ever seen in my life BAM just smells great compliments galore my wife loves it oh, I just can't say enough good things about this if you guys have not gotten your nose on this get your nose on this again I'm gonna say it get a sample buy a sample buy a decam go to Neiman Marcus or Bergdorf Goodman's whatever it is get your nose on it, it smells so good the spices the patchouli the boozy note I don't know if it has booze in it, but I definitely get a boozy accord. This is so unique. I've never smelled anything like this. My number one fragrance, YSL Tuxedo. That wraps up the list. Hope you guys enjoyed. I just want to give a special shout out to the reviewer that tagged me, Mr. Josh, over at the channel, Scent Sense, an amazing mentor to me. Ever since I started, he's been there since day one, giving me tips and tricks to help me grow my channel. He taught me about Instagram and tags and thumbnails. He just helped me grow my channel exponentially. And I appreciate and salute you, Mr. Josh over at Scent Sense. He also tagged me for the designer edition of this tag. I'm probably too late because that's been like two months ago when I first started my channel. So let me know if you guys still want to get that video. Comment down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys with another one. Peace.